Hi guys, happy Wednesday. We are going to learn a little bit more about the Congress in today's social studies lesson. So this one's called My Congress, Your Congress. And it's called that because the whole reason Congress was made was so that us, the American citizens, have a say in what happens in our government. So some vocab words for you. The Founding Fathers, those are the people that um, founded our country. They wrote and signed the Constitution. They were the first people after the Revolutionary War to kind of get our country moving. Uh, a citizen is someone legally living in a country. So we are all citizens of the United States. And the Speaker of the House is that person that's in charge of the House of Representatives. So again, why a Congress? Why? What's the point? Our founding fathers wanted our government to represent each citizen. So they wanted all of us to have a direct say in government. And since we get to vote for these people, um, they have our interests in mind. They Their job is to listen to the people that they represent. So our representatives in New York State, our senators in New York State, it is their job to listen to what we want and um, have our voice in the federal government. So a nice quote that sums this up is, of the people, by the people, and for the people. So Congress is made up of the people. They're all uh, United States citizens. They all live in those states that they represent. They're voted by the people, and their job is for the people. They are to represent us. They are to help us. Some of the powers they have, dive a little bit deeper into it. We know that they are um, in charge of making our laws and we know that they have the power to declare war, but they also do some other stuff as well. So they control trade. So they control what comes into our country and what goes out of our country. They collect taxes. They set up post offices. So all of our United States post offices are set up by Congress. They make money um, for the government. They set up those lower federal courts, so not the Supreme Court, but those other courts that are in our federal government. And of course, they make our country's laws. This is the building that Congress meets in, and it's called the Capitol Building, and it's in Washington, D.C., so in the same area as the White House, but it's not attached to the White House, a different building. So the Senate, the, we know that the vice president is in charge of the Senate. They are the president of the Senate. And these senators are voting on bills to become laws. Now, if there's a tied vote, so let's say 50-50, there's a tie, the vice president would break that tie and his or her vote would be the deciding vote. And our current senators right now are Kristen Gillibrand and Chuck Schumer. And this is a picture of them here. The House of Representatives, again, the leader is the Speaker of the House, and they are elected by the other members of the House of Representatives. And right now, Nancy Pelosi is our Speaker of the House, and that is her in the blue. And the Speaker of the House is second in line to become the President. So if the President is assassinated, the president dies, the president cannot do his job anymore, the vice president would be elected. Now, if the vice president dies, the vice president can't do his job anymore, then the speaker of the house would take over. Okay, that's all for today. Let's go over your questions. Number one, who decided our government needed a con Congress? So who was the one saying that this is important for the United States? Number two, in your own words, explain the quote of the people, by the people, and for the people. Number three, which is not, don't get tricked, which is not a power of Congress. Number four, where do the members of Congress meet? Which, what is that building called? Number five, who is the leader of the Senate? Don't get tricked, the Senate. Number six, who is one of our New York senators? Number seven, who is the leader of the House of Representatives? And number eight, is true or false? The leader of the House of Representatives is second in line to become president if needed. All right. Hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Adams.